Hi everyone and welcome to another fun and exciting trucking vlog here. This one will be maybe potentially interesting. I guess we'll see how it turns out. It is going to be a uh, Hazleton Romark load uh, going down to the McLean outside of Lexington. Uh, possibly my most favorite place, right? It's honestly not that bad. Um, so the uh, trailer is going to be preloaded, ready no later than tonight at 10 p.m. It is currently Sunday, and the delivery is for double check here Tuesday at 10 p.m. So uh, not a bad trip. We'll see how it works out. Um, it's currently one o'clock in the e afternoon, and could have made it to the Romark, but decided to pull off here at the uh, Little A. Lay Town, Lee Town, something service plaza, whatever it is, uh, and uh, stop for now because winds are being quite rough, and also I just made delivery, need to go sweep out the trailer uh, because there's no truck wash anywhere near here, or along route to be more precise. So, figured okay, gonna go uh, sweep out the trailer, take a little bit of a break, even though I'm not feeling it. Uh, too rough right now. It still doesn't hurt and hopefully by then the winds should die down We will see how it looks because looking on the map here uh, You know we've got I mean it's not super windy in the general sense, but those gusts uh, definitely feeling it especially on the bridges and stuff It is rough um, Had a few a few moments where it was like definitely uh, butt clenching to say the least <laughs> but um, it's still pretty bad over there and it won't be getting uh, lighter until around six or seven so I'm just gonna take a three-hour split break right now see how it looks see how it feels and then either decide to go or continue still be on time for a pickup but it just kind of sucks because I would have liked to at least get a little bit of a head start on the journey, though I guess we can drive into the night, but I guess we'll see. But this should be a, a relatively interesting trip because uh, Sam here is going to experience the McLean for the first time. Um, I know she's super excited about it, though she does have some ties to it as McLean does deliver to Walgreens and she has seen them before, so there is that. McLean were always my favorite drivers. Well, scratch that. I don't know how they were on the roads, but they were my favorite people to deal with when I had to unload anything or receive anything for Walgreens. There you have it. So, um, yeah, that's why this should be an interesting experience. And, um,. Now, the only thing is uh, not going on home time, so it's kind of interesting that they're sending me down there, uh, just like in the middle of my multiple week stint, so kind of interesting, but oh well. I'm not going to really complain about it because it's not going to be the worst trip. The plan is, you know, we'll see how we get out from here, and then uh, drive into the night. Hopefully by Tuesday night, we should make it to a uh, truck stop near Lexington park there, take an extended break into Tuesday, and then Tuesday night roll over to McLean. It's going to be about an hour from there, so leave to get, uh, be maybe an hour to two hours early, so leave at around seven or eight, roughly speaking, uh, to get there and get unloaded. And crossing our fingers, hopefully uh, we don't have any uh, rejected product on the trailer. I mean, yes, that would mean free candy. For me. For Sam, but that's a pain in the ass for me to deal with, so we'll see. So, not terrible. Pretty good, to be honest. Um, just a light sweep will be sufficient, and we can just continue on our day without having to worry about a wash. So, super fun and exciting. And there we go, a pretty uh, decently swept trailer. Should pass the visual inspection, so we are good to go. 
I don't know if you can tell the windiness, but it's definitely quite rough with the gusts. So it is time to take a break. All right, it is currently eight o'clock. Uh, decided to just do a seven hour split break. Uh, I'm getting us pretty close to the appointment time, so in theory there's no reason why the trailer shouldn't be ready. Uh, keyword is shouldn't, but uh, we all know how this goes. Uh, take us about 45 minutes to get there, grab it and go, and then um, basically I'm, I mean I've got about nine hours of driving on my clock for tonight. I don't know if, uh, well, I'm not planning on doing the full nine hours, but I do want to make it uh, to uh, the West Virginia, Maryland uh, rest area on the border on, um, I believe it is 68. Double check here. I don't remember which highway that is. Six, yeah, 68. Um, I want to try to make it there. Uh, that's not necessarily halfway, it's less than halfway, but that'll be a good stopping point. Um, I mean, I know for sure there's bound to be parking there, and then um, realistically do a good chunk uh, tomorrow, but we'll see. Plus, um, you know, right now at least the winds have died here. It's still a little windy after I did my uh, quick pre-trip, but uh, the gusts and everything, the overall general wind speed has significantly died down, so should be good but then it's gonna be the whole uh, winter weather mess uh, once hitting Kentucky that's right now hitting the area um, right now it's really bad down there like uh, freezing rain uh, ice um, snow etc that's right now hitting uh, like Dallas uh, Louisiana uh, Memphis Arkansas so it's getting a little nasty down there, and that's going to be pushing up into Kentucky um, later tomorrow into Tuesday. So we'll see what we can do, but for now, let's at least try to push it to uh, West Virginia. So successfully arrived here to Romark. I uh, dropped off the empty trailer over there. Uh, not parked in the bobtail section because the bobtail section is full, and we have a whole long line of trucks behind on the side here. Um, apparently they were extremely delayed here. The guy in the shipping office said he got here at like 6 p.m. and they had to start working on trucks that were supposed to do at 8 o'clock in the morning. So uh, only slightly behind, but they've been playing catch up. Um, I do know which trailer I got. Um, so that's good. So one down yonder. It's acted up. Actually, might be that one over there that the other Kalo one truck is sitting in front of because it's door 45. Unless the angle's messed up, I can't really tell. But, you know, at least at least got a trailer. He said um, they're getting close, so hopefully within the next hour. Best case scenario, so we'll see. A little sucky because it means driving through the night later, but, you know, it is what it is. So, oh well. And then I got uh, Sam a bunch of candy because they have it and she is just overjoyed in excitement mm -hmm. yeah okay I'll let her eat candy in peace um, yeah so rather productive it is currently uh, just before 3 in the morning uh, just got my trailer uh, yeah a bit of a wait unfortunately not ideal but was able to get a slight power nap so uh, we got that at least going. Uh, not exactly sure what the plan's going to be because I just, I don't know. Um, I'm also skipping my fuel stop because the fuel stop that they gave was all the way in Chile, Chillicoast, or however you pronounce it, Ohio. That's like totally out of the way since I'm going down south to Maryland on 68 and then across through to West Virginia to 64 and then into Kentucky. I don't know, so I hit skip on my tablet and I'm just gonna get fuel whenever I need fuel and if they wanna get mad, they can get mad because I'm not gonna deviate like an extra, like there's like 500 miles to the fuel stop and it's 600 miles to the actual destination, but I know for a fact going to the fuel stop and then to the destination would be 
traditional like I don't know just whatever so it's time to go the question is we will see what um, how this plays out if we'll be able to push it all the way through to Kentucky uh, basically today or point three drive. miles ahead turn right on and Pennsylvania 924 North Hindu Expressway continue doing split breaks because we did the three hour split break so then I can do the seven hour split break uh, I don't know I guess we'll see we are scaled and good to go um, pretty heavy on the trailer but I do have my tandem slid all the way up that leaves me plenty of room to fuel as well whenever that time comes, so we're good to go. Um, by the way, it was a pain in the ass to get into these loves here. Uh, there are people parked along the back row there, and then they were stretching over the uh, scale almost, parked over that uh, line there. Um, it was a pain, so I had to make a loop-de-loop -loop around the fuel island, go backwards on the fuel island to come from this angle, Instead of taking the turn from the entryway there and it was a bit of a struggle um, someone here suggested that I do the loop-de-loop -loop around the fuel island or in the fuel island and uh, approach well, they were parked in the way so. they were parked in the way and I mean it, it ended up working out so thanks for the suggestion <laughs> I was still half asleep yeah, I mean, we've been, it took about an hour to get here, so, slowly but surely waking up, and, um, yeah, but time to get the hell out of here, loves more like pain and misery, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no good experiences from the loves so far? Not so far, there was like, what, that one shower? Yeah, there was that shower, it's actually in the other video, and... That was awful. Other the than shower? that, yeah. I thought it was good. The last no, one. no, because it had soft water and the super shitty uh, soap. Yeah. 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 That was in Kansas. I think I just liked the way it looked. Oh well, I mean it was bigger than a pilot shower. Yeah, aesthetically it was nicer, but I forgot about yeah all that craziness. Yeah. Made it to the rest area here on uh, West Virginia, Maryland border. Uh, always a neat little place to go to. <clears throat> Great scenery and literally one other truck here besides us. So that is quite interesting. I mean, I understand it's a Sunday, but it's still kind of surprising. So plan is right now going to make it another couple hours to a pilot uh, that is across the street from Walmart because we might walk over to Walmart but see how motivated that is because it is yeah it is extremely brisk to say the least as I take off my sweater uh, but um, yeah we'll see how that goes and then uh, looking at my clock here we've got uh, almost seven hours, yet only five on the 11 hour, so what'll have to happen is the seven hour portion of the split break. So, gotta decide on when and where to do that, so. Made it here to the lovely mandatory brake check, tire check area, way station. Uh, gotta jump out and do all that fun stuff. Would you like to join me? And... It's only 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, see, I wouldn't have changed back into my shorts and tank top if I knew that. It's only slightly brisk. No, I'm okay. Oh, tragedy. Just gonna do a quick peekaboo here. Nothing, you know, just a quick visual and a uh, smell check. Not much else you can do, really. But of course, gotta make sure my tires are okay. It's always important to uh, 
do your mid-trip inspections. It's actually not that bad. Um, now that it's not windy, you know. I mean, I can definitely feel it, but back the rest area is worse due to the wind. But everything is looking uh, okay, just from a quick check, so back on the road we go. Successfully made it to the pilot here in Flatwood or Flat some, I don't know, wherever the hell we are. There's a Walmart across the street, so we might uh, truck over there in the lovely cold snow. Also, uh, gotta take the opportunity to take a shower here, as we will definitely not be staying at a pilot tonight or all through tomorrow. And who knows what will happen on Wednesday, so gotta definitely take uh, the opportunity to shower here. And of course, I don't have enough time on my clock, so i got to take the seven hour portion of the split and hopefully that will allow us enough time to get to the uh, truck stop that I want to stay at outside Lexington until delivery for tomorrow night. So that should be the plan. Super fun and exciting. <laughs> I you, just want to sleep. <laughs> you, you know, you can tell that her enthusiasm level is just spiking. I don't know what it is. We just didn't really sleep. That's true. So. Um, I'm sure you're super thrilled about walking to Walmart, too. I'm debating on just sending you. <laughs> and no. <laughs> Off to the ultra-fancy Walmart. The uh, thrill and excitement levels just peaking at maximum levels right now. But at least the snow died down. And it's not ultra cold. That is doing the most. <laughs> yeah, make sure that we don't buy a bunch of stuff. Have to carry it half a mile. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of neat, I guess. Fancy mountains. This is the obligatory inside a Walmart shopping uh, sequence or uh, shot. Um, as I see on every single other trucking vlog of, oh, I'm trucking, so I have to film as I shop inside of a Walmart. So here we go. A basket of some stuff. Walmart with people. 
That's another thing I used to get all the time. Misplaced product. Mm -hmm. All right, I would say this has been a moderately successful softening trip. That we did have food still in the truck. It's still good to have uh, at cookies. least. It's still good to have cookies. I was gonna say a variety of food and some healthy stuff as well that I got. That salad's yours. It's critically important to be healthy. I don't deny that. I just think you should, you know, have your fill of sugar and chemicals. That is false, but you know, whatever, I guess. I am excited for my salad, though. Yeah. <sighs> okay. But... Once we get this unloaded, probably drag up a quick bite to eat, take a shower, and then by then the split brake should be up. Roads are looking okay, so should be fine to roll after all of that, so we'll see. Time for a fun and exciting shower. I had a pretty terrible shower experience a few nights ago. So at least here we have some okay water pressure and uh <sighs> okay. Mm. Absolutely thrilling. So it is currently nine o'clock. I decided to give it till uh the ten hour break uh to see how it was going and it is snowing. I've been checking the uh road conditions, I've been checking the Virginia, West Virginia cameras and the Kentucky cameras and parking availability, et cetera, et cetera. And it is not ideal. So I'm sure I'm not being Mr. Super Trucker here, but I don't really care because I value the safety of uh, me and my girlfriend. So we are going to not uh, be dramatic here. Plus with the delivery being tomorrow night at 10 p.m., and it's only a four hour drive, I'm not overly concerned at the moment. Plus McLean doesn't even take early, so there's that. So, um, before we fully bunker down here, I decided uh, I'm gonna rock the truck a little bit to ensure that the trailer brakes did not freeze. And so they do not freeze tonight because it's, well, it's definitely not 34, it's like, 12 or 13 degrees right now so I'm gonna rock the truck make sure that they are unstuck and then repark the truck in my spot here and only set the tractor brakes so we have the tractor brakes set trailer brakes not set let's just go double check everything I was able to pull forward double check that Oh yeah, there we go. Looks like we were able to roll. Didn't slide or anything, so... Looks like we'll be fine. And everything will be okay for the night. It is definitely nice and uh, snowy. Safety first, though. I guess I can check this side too since I've got my boots and it's not a big deal. Yeah, definitely no sliding. So now that they are released, they for sure will not be stuck in the morning. So that is uh, one thing to not worry about. The only thing that uh, is ever so slightly concerning is I'm a bit low on fuel. This is my fuel stop, but obviously I don't want to lose my parking spot. But I think we should be fine. It's currently about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm trying to get some fuel here and get going and just see where that takes us. Uh, not super excited, but it seems like once we get outside of uh, whatever city it is, wherever uh, nitro, the uh, TA and Nitro, get past that and then it should be relatively decent uh, after that. So let's see how that goes. I already filled up my, I filled up my, yeah, I, I filled up my truck here, waiting to do reefer and get going, so. Successfully made it to the 
Apple Mart. App oh, hell. Apple, t I don't know, whatever this place is. Um, the biggest quandary is it would be ideal based on the plan for tomorrow or pre-plan to take a seven hour break. So that way I could do a nice three at McLean and be good. But the problem is if I take a full seven, that's gonna mean leaving here right at about nine. It takes about 45 minutes to drive there. So ugh, that is tight. So ended up getting to McLean uh, just within the nick of time, maybe 10, 15 minutes before 10, and got straight into a door, no issues, no overages, so big surprise there, which is a good thing. And they ended up unloading the trailer within about three hours, so pretty quick, easy time at McLean. So overall, not a terrible trip. It was moderately fun and exciting, and you guys get to saw, see some uh, fun winter land, scenic winterscapes, so something. But um, yeah, hopefully this was a moderately fun and exciting video. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.